Hey, what is going on guys and girls? Twintendo here. Today I've got a kind of different video. Normally I'm doing like Super Mystery Dungeon videos of late, but I kind of wanted to do a little bit of theories and speculation about this new Pokemon that was shown off the other day. Now actually, I'm kind of late to this news. I, I couldn't put this video out yesterday, which I wanted to. But luckily, we got a more clearer image of the actual new Pokemon because the sketches beforehand weren't that very good. And basically, I've just gone over the sketch and just coloured it in. And it's dreadful, by the way, I'm sorry. Like, my sketch of it is really bad, so don't judge me for my artistic merit. But basically, I'm just trying to help you guys visualise it. So basically, it's like a green blobby Pokemon with a red belly. Honestly, don't know what it's going to be. Honestly, you, I don't know what it is. But I'm going to give you guys a little bit of theories, I guess, and evidence today that might suggest it's not 7th generation, but could be a new 6th generation Pokemon. Which is kind of weird, because we're already, you know, in 6th generation Pokemon, and we got loads of them already from X and Y, so let me just explain what's going on. So this Pokemon appeared at the end of the Hooper film, and normally they end up saying, like, Pokemon X and Y movie or something, and this Pokemon looked through the O on the Pokemon part, and then started to blob around, as Cerebi put it, and basically... This sketch, like, is definitely more accurate than the other one, but it might still differ a bit from the actual Pokemon because there's no screenshots of it. And if there are going to be, or when we do see any, which will probably be in Korokoro's next week, I'll definitely make a video on that. But basically, what I want to know, is it a new Pokemon? Is it a new form? And if it is a new Pokemon, is it 6th generation or 7th generation? Because that's the second, technically, new Pokemon we've got in two weeks. And I say new Pokemon because I think the other one was Zygarde. And we got actually a bit more information about that. Apparently there were flashing hexagons on that Pokemon, which again is similar to Zygarde because it has all those hexagons around its eyes or face. So yeah, for me that's definitely Zygarde. But basically, guys, just common question of the day. Is this a new 6th or 7th generation Pokemon? And that's what I want you guys to decide at the end of the video because I'm going to be giving evidence for you know why it could be a 6th generation Pokemon and then why it could be a 7th generation Pokemon. So definitely, if you are going to comment, definitely wait till the end of the video. So it's not really weird that we got, you know, the new Zygarde form. I'm just going to call it the Zygarde form for now, just so you guys know which one I'm on about. So, the potential Zygarde one, that, that's not too weird, because we were expecting Zygarde to get a new form. But the fact that there's a second Pokemon reminded me of a... Uh, it's quite an old theory, I guess, that was kind of spoke about as X and Y was coming out. And that's basically that the X and Y Pokedex is split into two, so there's going to be, for the whatever the third game was, so whether it's Pokemon X and Y 2 or Pokemon Z, there was going to be a whole new region and a whole new Pokedex with new Pokemon in. And there is kind of a bit of proof about this. I was actually quite surprised how much there was. So I'm going to go through that and then you guys can make up your mind. So basically, the reason for the two regions and the two Pokedexes, if you guys remember in the story of X and Y, there's that war that happened like 3,000 years ago, I think it was. And obviously one side, well, it's happening all in Kalos, but apparently one side stayed in Kalos, you know, with all the Pokemon that are in there now. And the other side went to another region with all those other Pokemon, which I know it sounds really far-fetched, but this is where the proof comes in and it gets really interesting. So, normally in every single Pokemon game, there's around 100 new Pokemon, give or take. Probably a bit more than 100, but in this game, we only got 69, which was well below what we normally get. And yeah, that's fair enough. I mean, there were two years between Black and White and Pokemon X and Y. So it's understandable that the Pokedex is short, but then again, you know, with the two years since we've had X and Y have come out, they could have been designing these new Pokemon for the next part of the region. And basically, there are two pieces of evidence that back this up. So if you guys remember the strange souvenir, it's basically given to you in Pokemon X and Y, and we don't know what it does still, so it's probably going to be in the next Pokemon game, you know, its use or whatever it's for. And it's an ornament that depicts a Pokemon that it's kind of worshipped as a protector. And it says it's from some region far from Kalos. Now the guy who gives it to you, he says he's not from Kanto, Johto, Hoenn, Sinnoh, Nova or Kalos. He says he's from a brand new region and that you'll get to see it very soon. And that makes sense with the new region coming in, well a new 6th generation region coming in to the next Pokemon game. You know, because obviously we've got a smaller Pokedex which is kind of one, uh, I guess, clue that there's a new region. And then we get this. And it's very, like it's a little easter egg I'd say, because it's quite difficult to get the strange souvenir, but it definitely points towards like either a new region is coming soon, which could be 6th generation, and it could be 7th generation as well guys, I'm not going to rule that out, it could be, you know, we're jumping to another generation, but I find that's highly unlikely because normally generations last for at least 4 years. Now the only reason 5th generation only lasted like shorter than the others was because the 3DS was finally ready to have, you know, a Pokemon game. And obviously the DS had to have 
2 because the 3DS wasn't ready for black and white and so they just had to put black and white to, to DS. So it's, it's kind of complicated guys. Now the final clue is pretty interesting. Now I'm not sure if this is even an error in typing or something else or it's like accidentally being kind of, I say leaked, but basically in the Pokemon X and Y official Kalos region guidebook, so this is sold by Nintendo, on page 384 it says some berries are only available from other regions. However, if you look at Pokemon Bank, and that's the only way to get Pokemon from other regions, items can't be traded over through Pokemon Bank because on its FAQ on the uh, official Pokemon website it says items can't be traded over. So how are we going to get berries from other regions when we can't bring them over? So that's very interesting. Again, that could point towards a new region in the sixth generation, or it's just you know a typo, it's just an error. Guys, let me know what you think personally. With all the clues that I found out while making this video, I definitely think it's possible. Whether it will happen, I don't know. Personally, I'm not going to get my hopes up, and I do think they're just going to stick to Kalos. But guys, definitely let me know in the comment section below. And if you did enjoy this video, make sure to hit that like button. Guys, if you haven't seen our two previous videos, they're going to be on screen now. On the left is the Connection Orb in Pokemon Super Mystery Dungeon. I made a video about that detailing what it does and what it is. And if you're looking forward to that game, definitely check that out. And on the right is another Super Mystery Dungeon video. And this is talking about the starters' roles in Pokemon Super Mystery Dungeon. You know, are they explorers? Are they rescuers? I'll answer that in that video. So if you're looking forward to that game, definitely check those two videos out. I'm actually making another Super Mystery Dungeon video tomorrow if you guys are big fans of that, because I know a lot of you guys are. And yeah, guys, if you haven't subscribed already, there's a big red button where Mudkip is. Click that, and you'll stay well informed. And yeah, guys, that is it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Have an awesome day, and I will see you on our next video.